Israel's air force was defending other targets when Iran's missiles came. Slipping through defenses to hit several air bases, like this one at Nevatim. Another, narrowly missing an intelligence base in Tel Aviv. The crater it left filled with visions of what if. The US said this attack had twice the scope of Iran's last bombardment in April. Not all the targets hit were military. One landed in this residential suburb of Tel Aviv. Neighbors rushing through repairs before the Jewish New Year tonight. Close, close. Temporary solutions to the problems of a regional war. 83-year-old Shmulik's home, one of more than 100 houses damaged here. Everybody was scared because the, the, the blast, it was an enormous blast. And when we get out of the shelter, it, we, we saw something not from this world. All the house was with glasses, no windows, no doors. The impact site around 100 meters from his front door. Another what if. This is the second time in six months that Iran has attacked Israel directly. Actions that were once seen as red lines are now becoming routine. Each time, the line between message and miscalculation is paper thin. And each time, demands a response. Israel's prime minister has promised a response will come. We are in the middle of a tough war against Iran's axis of evil, which seeks to destroy us. This will not happen because we will stand together and with God's help, we will win together. Israel has been crossing red lines itself, sending these soldiers into Lebanon this week. A limited and targeted incursion, it says, to destroy Hezbollah tunnels. But another four brigades were called up today, and villagers in the south of Lebanon told to leave their homes and move north. Also today, the first Israeli casualties airlifted out of the combat zone. Eight killed and others injured. Men from Israel's elite commando and infantry brigades. The youngest of them, 21 years old. Two days into this war, Israel is facing the risks of old conflicts, weighed against the risks of playing by new rules. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Israel.